wasn't really going to go into art because I grew up in Spokane. My parents kind of structured me toward going into academics and science, and so I thought I was going to be a lab tech like my sister or a dental hygienist, and I uh, never took any art in high school. Learning how to manipulate clay in the first place, like even throwing a, on the wheel, was really a challenge. That was how I first got into clay. And then I had to decorate it. We, <laughs> and in our classes, we weren't allowed to just dip them in glaze. We had to decorate them. And that decorating really forced me to, to deal with the surface. And so that, I think, a lot of my ideas early on, I used to look at Gorky. Gork, I love Gorky's work, and uh, a lot of the abstract expressionists I started to look at, but I, I noticed that later on, I, I started getting more figurative, like I'd like Leger and people like that. <laughs> It's a really difficult thing to f try to find out how that surface is going to work and how you treat that surface. That in itself is very difficult and that's why ceramics I think is hard because you do have to deal with both, both the surface and the shape. And I'm also starting to sort my own surface work out where I'm trying to make things a little more simpler for myself. Not because it's simple but I want it more direct, I think, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I am the happiest when I'm in the studio. And I, I didn't know that for, I mean, I didn't realize. In fact, I never realized I was an artist uh, until, I mean, for many, many years. And then I really realized I was an artist when the need to be in the studio was there. And before that, I didn't know what an artist was. When I was happiest in the studio working was the best time for, for me. And everything else, I kind of would just try to get it done, you know daily routine, just to try to get to the studio. Uh, so I guess that was my first inkling as being an artist. I slowly got into the figure by doing kind of a trompe l'oeil um, idea. I, I would do these kind of flat slabs and paint on them or airbrush on them with uh, ceramic material. And um, then I would just have these arms come out uh, three-dimensionally. And that's kind of, I kind of inched my way into the figure that way because I was afraid, afraid to uh, uh, sculpt them three-dimensionally. And then later on, I just, you know, one thing added to another. I just kept adding more, testing myself to see if I could deal with the head. You know, and then the fingers and the arms. And then slowly I could, my idea is I could see them in my head. And I just had to find a way of, of getting it out. And so it kind of forced me to get into the figure. Because my clay body was cracking, I really, it really forced me to go to a lower temperature. And when I went to a lower temperature, uh, earthenware temperature, it allowed me this very huge palette of colors. Um, I mean, I could get reds, yellows, greens, purples, everything. And that was what really opened, I think, initiated the whole opening up of working three-dimensionally. <laughs> kind of almost trying, trying to abstract it, where the surface and the shape work together, but again, and in one sense, they're also, uh, I'm trying to separate them so that the surface becomes one reality and the form of the, of the figure is another reality. And where they cross is where I'm challenging myself at this point in time, I think. <laughs> artist has been really wonderful because it's you're able to explore every part of humanity and the probably the best parts of humanity and uh, so I've been really really lucky you know to have that in my life what I hope the rest of my 
my career. My work continues to grow and that doesn't stagnate and that it's an additive process and I, right now I'm, I'm exploring other materials like the prints and also doing bronze right now and that's been very exciting too. I mean I'm learning, it just seems like everything's just kind of learning one thing after another. It's like there's, you can't learn enough. And um, so I'm hoping that my life continues to get more exciting. I want to go on more trips, <laughs> meet more people. Seattle's public art collection includes over 400 permanent installations. See more of them at seattle.gov arts.